Well, hi there. I'm up in the old forest again and I have a new gadget that I want to try out. It's the SC, if I remember to bring it, SC Fire Tool, I think it's called. Um, it says on the box, Randall's Adventure Training School of Survival. So, uh, but I'll bring the camera closer and uh, I'll show you. Okay, so here it is. It comes in a, a box. It looks very pirate inspired, I would say. Uh, inside the box um, is this thing here. Now you can use this with your ferro rod or uh, with your flint or as uh, it has a socket for your bow drill spindle here. And that's what I'm going to do today. Um, I'll see how this works as, uh, as a handle for the bow drill. Okay, but before I do that, um, I know some of you will ask me uh, how does it work with the flint and how does it work with, um, with the um, fur rod. So let's just... I haven't tried it before, so let's just see how it goes. Um, okay, it's a bit windy today, which you can hear, I guess. So I have this. Uh, it didn't come in the box. Um, you can use material, uh, put material, and char it in this box, of course. Uh, let's try the cotton pad with the ferro rod first. Okay. So, yeah, works quite well. This is burning. And now, let's see how it works with the flint. Then we will need some, um, some char cloth and the flint here. Here we have, we have everything here. Okay, oops. Okay. Now promise not to laugh if I don't succeed straight away because it's always like that you know with um, a new uh, a new uh, striker it just yeah oh I'm quite impressed actually can you see that I hope this is cameras focusing. It's burning. No. I have to drop it. But now for the bow drill. Uh, okay, I'll bring the camera closer and I'll tidy up a little bit here. And I will show you. Okay, so I have prepared the bird's nest inside this very fancy plastic bag here. So I'll just keep it there because it's it's quite windy, as I said, and uh, and um, where did I put that SC fire tool? Is it here now? That's the thing with all this gadget, you know. The, 
you kind of put them. Oh, it's here. Here it is. And I will. Uh, I'll use some of this underneath. Uh, yes. Now I found that after doing a few YouTube videos that the um, thing about primitive fire, uh, making primitive fire videos is that it's, it's, really, it's really hard to, um, to make good primitive fire videos because I'll use my hat as uh, it says in the little folder that comes with the, the SE fire tool that um, it can get hot. So let's see. Let's see if this how this works. You can't really cut out much because then there will be people who say are saying that <clears throat> um, no, it's fake and uh, you know I'll have to adapt this a little bit. So you have to take show it all in one take. Now, <clears throat> I'll take my chances. I don't want to ruin my my hat. A bit lazy today, so I hope this will be enough. If I'm really lucky now, I will have the wind blowing all this around. I don't know if you can see this. I hope you can see it. We have an ember right here. I'm going to put it in my bird's nest now. Before the wind steals it. Uh. 
Okay. So, quite happy with that. It wasn't a very large ember, but it, uh, it worked quite well. I'll put this here and I will, uh, don't worry, I will go and get uh, some snow to, oh, so that we won't start a fire. Hang on. <coughs> Hi there. That was the SE fire tool. It works both with the, the ferro rod, flint and steel, and as you can see with the, the bow drill. Wonderful. I'll show you where I have my trail cam. It's um, it's right by their uh, the road there uh, where they sleep. Uh, I'll show you. Now take take a look at this. Now this you can see this. Sorry. Uh, I think you can see. Here are these uh, uh, where they have been sleeping. We have one there, these little bumps in the, in the ground, and it's you know I walk backwards now without slipping. It's uh, right on top of this little uh, rock here. So that they have, uh, they can, uh, they know what's going on around them. And I could, of course, have strapped my my trail cam on the on the tree there, but I'm kind of uh, uh, peculiar that way. I just thought thought that would be an intrusion in their private life actually so i put my trail cam down there and, uh, 
here we have the trio can. Hello. The reason why I put it here is that can you see this truck here? They walk up and forth, back and forth here. It's one of their trails. It's sometimes easier if you stoop down a little bit and you can see the trail right here. Woodpecker! And a little spider. But anyway, um, that's all for now. Uh, it's all I could find time for right now, today. I'm quite busy with my work these days. Um, but I will be out filming overnight uh, bushcraft overnight videos again. Uh, I hope I will find time for that actually uh, in um, one and a half week from now. That will be one week from when you're watching this video. I believe. Yes. Uh, so thank you for joining me. Thank you for spending this time with me. I really appreciate. Um, I really appreciate that. It's it means a lot to me. I know I've said it before, but but it's uh, it's hard to explain. This channel is uh, it's it's not a small channel anymore. So it's um, I know it can take sometimes a few couple of days before I answer your uh, comments but I still try to answer all the comments and I do appreciate every single comment and so keep the comments coming <laughs> um, and as always uh, if I didn't say so already thank you for joining me and um, I hope I'll see you in my next video as well until then, take care.